Hey guys, this is part two for the HTC One. In this video, we're going to be installing a custom recovery and rooting the device. We've already unlocked the bootloader. We're using Hasun 2000's all-in-one toolkit. Click your recovery, select flash recovery. Here it shows you that there will be two screens. Your phone needs to be in USB debugging enabled uh, state. Uh, once it gets to the bootloader, uh, you're going to go ahead and close out this first prompt. The next prompt will automatically open and flash the recovery. Mm -hmm. Here you see me trying to go into the new custom recovery, uh, but it doesn't work. So I head back to XDA and the actual thread. I read up a little, and it talks about clearing the cache. So I close out the other command prompts. I hit erase cache. It'll talk about two screens popping up. Again, uh, it needs USB debugging like the other one did. So the first one gets it uh, into the bootloader, and once you clear, clear that screen off, or exit out of it, uh, it'll actually run the command to erase the cache. So from here, I actually reflash the recovery, and then I rebooted uh, into that custom recovery. You can see here on the XDA thread where it talks about clearing the cache. At this time, the computer uh, ADB commands weren't being uh, actually executed properly. So from the command prompt, I did have to do uh, ADB reboot recovery. Just type it out, ADB space reboot space recovery to get into the uh, recovery uh, area. Um, flashing the uh, SU, the super user uh, files, did not work. Uh, from the toolkit just because my ADB commands were messed up I believe so what I did was place the actual uh, files on the device in an area where I could find them if you go into the main directory where the toolkit is located and then go to data and then SU you'll find that super SU uh, zip file that you will need to flash. You can easily just flash this from inside the customer recovery to give yourself a uh, root. Here I show you that I placed that SuperSU zip in the download folder on the inter internal storage. I extracted the whole toolkit to the C drive. data, SU, there's where it's located, that's what I copied it from. So by now I'll be done with the computer and just rebooting the device back into the custom recovery. I'm using the ADB reboot recovery command. You can see the purple text up top. A flash from the SD card. We hit our Super SU. I'll go back and reboot the device. Once the device is rebooted, a successful root will put Super SU right here. Depending on what root package you're using, you might have a different uh, Super SU permissions manager. Root Explorer is probably one of my favorite applications. So I go into the Play Store, download that, install it. open it up. It asks me for root permissions. I go ahead and grant it. So now I'm just showing you that I can go into the system folder. Connect. 
open the build prop and text editor, but first you have to mount the file system read write. I go ahead and do that, and then I'm able to open it. So uh, if you watch these two videos and follow along in the XDA thread, you should be able to unlock your bootloader, flash a custom recovery, and root your HTC One. It should work on other versions and not just the AT&T. So please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.